In November 2024, India marked a significant milestone in its defense export journey by delivering its indigenously developed Panaka multi-barrel rocket launcher, MBRL systems to Armenia. This event not only signifies India's growing role in the global arms market, but also highlights the strengthening defense ties between the two nations. The delivery, part of a contract finalized after two years of negotiations, showcases Armenia's intent to modernize its military capabilities. This collaboration aligns with India's Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat initiatives, emphasizing domestic production and innovation in the defense sector. Over the years, these policies have transformed India into a notable player in international defense, with Armenia emerging as one of its key clients alongside the United States and France. Developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, in collaboration with public and private sector entities, the Panaka system is a state-of-the-art mobile artillery platform. It is designed for rapid deployment and precision targeting, making it indispensable for modern battlefields. The initial variant, Panaka MKI, offers a range of up to 40 kilometers and supports diverse warheads. From high-explosive heme munitions for personnel and light fortifications to incendiary warheads capable of igniting fuel stores, the MKI delivers powerful and adaptable firepower. With the ability to deploy anti-tank mines, this system is suitable for both offensive and defensive operations. The MK2 variant expands the range to 60 to 75 kilometers and incorporates precision-guided technology. Utilizing GPS and inertial navigation systems, INS, it ensures accurate strikes, minimizing collateral damage. This makes it ideal for targeting enemy command centers, fortifications, and critical infrastructure. The guided Panaka variant pushes the boundaries further, achieving pinpoint accuracy within a 75-kilometer range. This version is particularly effective against high-value targets. The Panaka Area Denial Munition, ADM variant, on the other hand, is tailored for area denial missions, dispersing submunitions over a wide zone to neutralize enemy movement. Currently under development, the Yar Panaka aims to extend the range to 90 kilometers, combining long-range capability with precision targeting. This upcoming variant will enhance operational flexibility and further cement Panaka's reputation as a cutting-edge artillery solution. Panaka's modular design and mobility allow it to fire a salvo of 12 rockets in just 44 seconds and quickly relocate to avoid counterattacks. This combination of firepower and agility makes it a preferred choice for modern military forces. Beyond Armenia, countries in Europe and Southeast Asia have expressed interest in the system. Notably, France has shown enthusiasm for Panaka during the 2024 visit of India's Chief of Defense Staff, General Anil Chauhan. Such interest underscores Panaka's potential to secure a larger share of the global defense market. Armenia's acquisition of Panaka systems reflects its commitment to diversifying and upgrading its military capabilities amid evolving regional challenges. These systems, along with the recently procured Akash air defense missile systems, enhance Armenia's ability to target enemy positions and protect vital logistical networks. The delivery of Panaka systems to Armenia is not merely a business transaction but a testament to India's emergence as a reliable defense partner. As India continues to expand its defense exports, partnerships like these pave the way for deeper international collaborations. India's growing prominence in the global arms market is further bolstered by its strategic policies, innovation-driven approach, and ability to deliver advanced and versatile solutions like Panaka. The agreement with Armenia reinforces India's position as a vital contributor to both regional and international security. This milestone represents a leap forward for India's defense ambitions and solidifies its role as a key player in shaping the future of global military partnerships.